Hello, we are back with one more video on integration uh, on the topic further indefinite integration. So today we'll be discussing about one of the important property or you can say application which will help us to integrate complicated functions easily. So we'll observe two, two things over here. One is the direct formula and the second way how we means how why we are using that direct formula means application of that part how how we came up to that result okay uh, so let's start with that basically let's suppose let's suppose if we have something means a differentiation of a function means if differentiation of a function is f dash x okay we know this idea then integration of fx should be equals to fx plus c okay so now to build on this idea let's take example uh, we start with this let's suppose uh, this is example one that differentiate show that basically differentiation of 3x square minus 4 to the power 8 is equals to 48 x 3 x square minus 4 to the power 7 this we have to show okay now we know how to use chain rule over here now whenever we are using chain rule means whenever we are applying chain rule so the first idea is always to solve the outer bracket first so if we start now over here we will apply the power rule so now this would be 8 3x square minus 4 8 minus 1 fine now the outer bracket is done now the inside function now if you solve this inside function if you differentiate this inside function what we will get is 6x so now once you write down this in now if you simplify it further what we will get is 48x 3x square minus 4 to the power 7 which is c okay now now integration 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 of this function means integration of this part should be this yes or no okay let's let's check it out let's check it out how we'll do that now now over here over here the interesting thing come over here is now if you start integrating 48x okay 3x square minus 4 to the power 7 dx now one way of doing integration would be means we don't know any kind of rule just like in differentiation we know there is a product rule differentiating two functions means v and u or u and v so there is a product rule what we do is we will differentiate first function first keep as it is plus now v as it is differentiation of u so till now we have not discussed any rule in integration that we can assume this is our first function this is our second function and we integrate it accordingly okay now over here over here uh, if we if i observe if i observe let's suppose if i consider this as my function this whole 3x square minus 4 as my function so let's suppose if i consider okay 3x square minus 4 is my function that is new function if i name it as d t or u whatever you want okay for convenience what we do is we'll write down this as t okay now i am assuming this as t okay now if i have to integrate this function now parameters are different this is in terms of t this is in terms of x and the small change is also in terms of x so if you are replacing something means you have to replace all the parameters involved means all the variables involved okay so now now over here now over here if i further differentiate this part differentiate this part so i can write it down this with respect to x so this would be 3 2x 0 and dt by dx since I am differentiating this with respect to x okay now can I write down this as 6x 
dx is equals to dt yes or no okay okay now i will do a small manipulation over here over here small manipulation can i write it down this 48x as this way 8 then 6x 3x square minus 4 to the power 7 dx yes or no now observe carefully now observe carefully this part now this is our t so can i write it down this as this way integration of t to the power 7 okay now observe this part that is 6 times x dx now this is 6 times x into dx can i replace this with dt dt now we are left with 8 now can we integrate this function with respect to t 8 is a constant we can keep it outside integration of t to the power 7 dt so what would be integration of t to the power 7 dt integration t to the power 7 dt would be that is t 7 plus 1 whole divided by 7 plus 1 plus c clear now if you simplify this would be t to the power 8 plus c now what was our t t was 3x square minus 4 so this is 3x square minus 4 to the power 8 plus c got it so this is the function we started with if you see uh, yes 3x square minus 4 8 dx square minus 4 8. okay so now what we have done over here is we have understood how to integrate an expression by using a method of substitution okay clear with this idea how we can do this part now let's look at one more example over here let's suppose first question over here is first part in the question is differentiate differentiate x square minus 3x plus 5 to the power 6 with respect to x okay now if we have to differentiate this function we have to apply chain rule over here so differentiation of this would be first if you write it down power comes in multiplication now this would be 6 minus 1 5 now inside bracket differentiation that would be sorry 2x minus 3 okay 2x minus 3 clear with this idea now let's suppose now let's suppose there is a another question that b part find find integration of 2x uh, minus 3 into 2 and x square minus 3x plus 5 to the power 5 okay Chalo. so now if you have to integrate this part now now over here now every time we don't have to use that substitution method every time we don't have to use that substitution method sometimes you have to observe the given expressions carefully let's suppose if I consider this expression let's suppose if I consider this expression this is ft if this expression is t so can i say this expression is dt yes or no if this expression is t can i say this expression is dt because if i consider x square minus 3x plus 5 as t now if i differentiate this function with respect to t sorry x will get 2x minus 3 same now applying this logic applying this logic 
now this 2 is a constant so I'll keep it outside now let's suppose if this is my function you can sorry I'll write it down this way if this is my function and this is f dash x dx okay so whenever we have this kind of situation whenever our fx is there and derivative of that function is also there whatever function you are assuming so what what we can do is we can directly integrate this nothing else to do okay so integration of this would be 2 outside this would be x square minus 3x plus 5 to the power 5 plus 1 whole divided by 5 plus 1 plus c that's it now you can just simplify this part x square minus 3x plus 5 to the power 6 upon 3 plus c clear okay just to give you more clarity on this part we can discuss one more question regarding the same okay let's suppose if we have something this kind of expression x5 plus 2x whole power 7 multiplied by 5x4 plus 2 dx now see this is quite complicated function and we don't know any kind of rule which is involved means product rule in integration till now so how to solve how to integrate this part one way of doing it that if you are very good is you have to expand this term with using binomial expansion then multiply the whole eight terms you will get eight terms over here multiply with this so in total of 16 terms then you can individually integrate each and every term that's so good of you if you are able to do that part okay now over here if I see if I observe that if I consider this x to the power 5 plus 2x as my t means now I can see if this function is t now differentiation of this is over here I can easily see now differentiation of x to the power 5 is 5x4 plus 2 it's over here so simply simply what you have to do is consider this function as your t and integrate this part so we know integration of t to the power 7 would be t to the power 7 plus 1 whole divided by 7 plus 1 plus c so what we'll get is t to the power 8 whole divided by 8 plus c now simply what you have to write it down you have to just write it down over here that x to the power 5 2x to the power 8 whole divided by 8 plus c this is your final answer means integration of this now if we want to cross check this part what we can do is we can differentiate this and check so if we have x to the power 5 2x to the power 8 whole divided by 8 plus c now if we differentiate 1 by 8 is constant i can take it outside now applying the power rule 8 x to the power 5 plus 2x sorry 2x 8 minus 1 7 now chain rule so multiplying chain rule so this would be 5x to the power 4 plus 2 now this is closed and differentiation of constant is 0 clear so differentiation of constant is 0 now let's simplify this part 8 and 8 gets cancelled x to the power 5 plus 2x whole power 7 multiplied by 5x to the power 4 plus 2 done this is same clear so just again to give you idea and clarity that if we are integrating something where we have our function and we have derivative of that function and we are integrating it with respect to x what we can do is we can directly integrate this functions and write it down f x plus c simple clear so i hope you have clear idea on this part thank you so much enjoy your day